Hello Pigeon Fanciers. Here we are on Thursday basketing day. We fly uh, about a 150, I think it's like 135 to me tomorrow. Tomorrow, and then they go down to the 400 mile station, 630 kilometer, uh, for Saturday release. These two up here are going to go to the four. Um, I had a couple more, but they got banged up on me these last couple races. Had one cock drop a flight, in flight for some, for all reasons. Why, I have no idea. But um, anyway, the birds were looking very good. Let's see if we can catch a couple of them there in the back. I'm thinking of sending that yearling there to the four, the dark one. Uh, that is out of uh, the son of Zeely, of Martin Snuffle. And some of my old Fabry Sion blood that uh, the Sion stuff I just acquired crossed it on my Fabry and that's the father. Very good. Let me see if I can catch one here. This one bites me every time I reach in this box. This is a uh, 407. This is out of the Pencil Cock and um, Speed Princess. High hopes. Very good pigeon. Let me see if I can show you the condition of them. Hopefully the camera can pick it up. Very good. Still have some down feathers, but we've been cold. We have not really had any warm weather yet. So, but I'm very pleased with the birds. They're, they're very, in my opinion, last week they were not quite right. I only sent five and that's the reason why. Um, this week they're right and I'm hoping to have a good race tomorrow. Let's see if we can catch a few of the hens without them flying over Janine's head. <laughs> and uh, they're a little wound up. So, but they look good. They look very, very good. There's a hen that's been first to the loft every week. All three weeks in a row. Um, 1033. She's a granddaughter of uh, DeRue's and Saney. Uh, for my good friend Joe Kloskins. Fantastic, fantastic birds. They've done very, very well for me. Um, oops. I don't want to mess around with them too much, but I think they look good. Droppings are fantastic. The only downfall, if I can get them in here. The only downfall I'm really not pleased with, I can't say I'm not pleased with. I'm, um, they did not want to eat as good as I like. I feed my birds all they want, and uh, they, they never, they always can eat. And they did not want to eat today. So they started yesterday. I like it, it's a sign of good form, but in the other hand, I don't. Um, let me see if I can show you the condition. Boy, they're just, just buoyant. I said, this is the hen, she's leading high point bird, but very good condition. Very, very good condition. I'm very, very pleased with her. Just blowed up and buoyant, so I can't complain. There's 19051. That's a full sister to Tommy Gun, my Midwest winner. I'm thinking very highly of her. And oh boy, she's just buoyant. They're just nothing, no weight. But they're very, very blowed. I'm thinking of sending her on the four. I don't normally send them that far, 630 kilometers, 400 miles, about 391 to me. But I think she can do it. Her mother's the Duchess, uh, Jacob Portfleet's daughter, his Yildirin. His birds would go 700 kilometer. Cross with uh, the father's, the pencil cock, they go 500 kilometer all times. So I think they can do her, no problem. Her condition is fantastic, as all of them are. But um, we'll see. I'm going to watch the weather. They're calling for spotty rain Saturday. One time they say it's going to be a disastrous weekend rain. And then I just watched the news. And they said it's not going to be a total washout. Just going to be here and there. So we'll, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, let see if I can find one more here for you I really like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. This is a daughter. 
of the pencil cock, or no, no it's not, I'm sorry. This is a daughter of Jolene, which is, I sent to my good friend Joe Kloskins over there in Belgium, and uh, Martin Steffel's son of Zeely. Um, very nice pigeon, she's been coming good for me, and um, her brother was, uh, nestmate was that Czech cock I like so well. Unfortunately, I lost him on the second race in that heavy wind. Um, probably hit something. So, but anyway, I'm very, very, very pleased with them. And as uh, you can see, they're wild. But uh, droppings, I don't know if you can pick that up. They're just like marbles. So, everything's looking good. We're hoping for a good race. And um, hopefully I can show you some birds coming home both tomorrow and Saturday. So, we'll, uh, we'll keep you informed. Okay, good morning pigeon fanciers. Uh, we're flying the 150 a day. It's about 136, 137 to me. Um, beautiful day, no wind to speak of, just a real light breeze barely hitting you. Uh, a beautiful sky. I think the birds have come really good today. Um, I'm expecting for them to come good, but we'll see. We know how that is. We've all expect them, and when they come, they come. So, but uh, hopefully here before long, I'll show you some birds. We fly the 150 today, and tomorrow we fly a 400. So, tomorrow's weather's a little iffy in spots. One guy says it's going to rain most of the day. One guy says it's going to be pretty good, you know, intermittent. So. We'll have to wait and see what the weather is tomorrow, but uh, but anyway, we should have birds coming here real quick. Here we go. We just got a couple come out of the northeast. So, <whistles> come on, come on. Yeah, they're wanting to rant and rave one another. <whistles> come on. Yeah, they're, they're not very tired today, but hopefully they'll go in. Instead, they want to play with one another. So. Come on. Yeah, that's the hen that won last week. She went in first. And, Cock, so there's two. I sent 15. So we'll see if we get them. Here comes another one. They're coming right out of the northeast. There's 407. Yeah, he's really, really tired, but probably another one here with them somewhere. We'll see. Uh, he's just doing victory laps. Come on, come on. So that makes three. Uh, hopefully he'll go in. They're not very, they're not very ambitious about going in today for some reason. So, but there's three out of fifteen. Here comes two more, all coming out of the northeast. So they must have flown by a little bit. There's a the good hen that's been coming real good. Come on. There's five out of 15 here just in a couple minutes. So, real happy with the return so far. Very, very happy. But they're not wanting to, they're just not wanting to go in though. Man, I wish they'd trap a little better. So. But that's five out of 50, that's a third of them here in just a couple minutes. So I'm real happy with that, real pleased with that. That makes six. They're coming good, but boy, they're coming back out of the east, northeast now. So, but they're not tired by no means. And I don't know, 
maybe less than five minutes. Coming on the north though, I mean they're they're definitely north. Come on. That blue white flight there, that's the son of Philip. I really like that bird. Really, really like that bird. But that's nine out of fifteen. Like I said, it's been maybe five minutes since the first one. So very happy with that. Push it drop a little better. Here comes two more. Here comes, yep. I think 11 of 15. So they're almost all home within, looks like about 10 minutes. So, uh, boy, I didn't want to fly today. Probably within 15 minutes, maybe at 16. Okay, there's that one stray wants to keep them going, but I think that makes 12, 13. I think that makes 13 out of 15, if I'm not mistaken. So, and it's been. About 17 minutes. I got 13 out of 15 miles. Uh, if they ever want to land, uh, they're, they're in good shape. So they're just really enjoying it. Let's see if they have to down here. That watch stray wants to just keep them going. Uh, just don't want to take off. Beautiful day. Just, you know, I can't stress that enough. The weather's just beautiful. So, ideal day for a race. But, yeah, there's just the two. Maybe that stray finally decided to take off. So, we'll see if they can ever land. And I'll get a for sure count. I think that's 13 out of 15. Which, real happy with that. Real, real happy with that. Okay, Pigeon Fanciers, here we are after the birds got home. It's been about 25 minutes since I got the first first ones. And, um, they're a little down there for them. As you can see, they're not hungry, but they look good. I got 13 out of the 15 home. I would say 20 minutes or less. And uh, they're going crazy with each other there in the boxes. And, uh, but they look fantastic. Very good race. Um, 
We'll see how the 400 mile birds come tomorrow, 630 kilometers, but they look they look good. You can see they're not hungry, but they didn't trap very good for me today. They wanted to fly and play, but they're uh, they're really good shape. Really, really good shape. So, but uh, anyway, hopefully tomorrow I'll show you some 400 milers coming home.